You know, it seems like atheists can point out how silly Christians are all day, and we just get called assholes. But as soon as you call out Muslims, you're an Islamophobic. It's not that you think that a murderous child raping a literate warlord isn't worth adulation. It's not that you think that stories about flying horses should be reserved for kids and bronies. And it's not that you think people worshipping a meteorite is insane. You're afraid of them. Hell, if you read The Guardian, you could be forgiven for thinking that Islamophobic was Richard Dawkins' official state title. So let's examine the word. Now, as my spell check will readily tell you, it's not actually a word. But even if it was, it would have no practical application because the suffix phobia refers to an irrational fear. If you're swimming through shark-infested waters, you look back, you see a fin, and you hear an ominous two-note theme song following behind you, you're not a salachophobic, you're rational and edible. And before anybody goes accusing me of equating Muslims with sharks or terrorists, I should point out that you don't have to be a de facto terrorist for your Muslimness to scare the fuck out of me. Is the Saudi judge that sentenced the rape victim to 200 lashes for getting raped a terrorist? Is the Yemeni guy who raped his eight-year-old bride to death on their wedding night a terrorist? Is every member of the government in Iran, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Malaysia, the UAE, and Mauritania a terrorist? Because they all terrify the fuck out of me. Now, I'll readily admit that Islam isn't the only major world religion that calls for the ultimate extermination for everybody who worships a different god. That's kind of a common theme, so it's not fair to single Muslims out for that one. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's, it's okay to point out that it's batshit crazy, but it's not like particularly batshit crazy for a religion. That being said, I think it's also fair to point out that the Muslims have the best infidel massacring infrastructure. And if you don't believe me on that, try this experiment. Draw a few cartoons of Jesus sucking off Moses while Buddha takes him in the ass, and then watch as no one kills you. So what would be irrational about being scared here? Keep in mind that I live in New York City. If you average it out over the last 15 years, New Yorkers are statistically more likely to be killed by Muslim terrorists flying airplanes into skyscrapers than car accidents or firearms. So how the hell is Islamophobia a phobia? The only thing irrational about it is restricting your fear to Muslims. You know, right now Scientologists are just a bunch of goofy, alien-worshipping nuttards, but I'm willing to bet if Scientologists ever took over a nation's government, they'd suddenly become damn scary. See, it's not Muslims that scare me so much as religious people with armies. Christians aren't immune to all this crazy shit, they're just generally confined to countries that won't put them in charge of their nuclear arsenal. But consider the blathering, schizophrenic, homeless, subway-dweller tirade Michelle Bachman went on last week where she stammered on about leaves on fig trees and the end being nigh, and then capped off the incoherent blubbering by talking about how awesome that was going to be when the world ended because that meant that her magical hippie Jew couldn't be far behind. Now, this isn't some crazy guy waving a poster board sign scrawled with his own feces on 146th Street. This is a member of Congress. This is a person who, at one point, led the goddamn polls for the Republican nomination for president after a debate. This is a person who gets to vote on whether or not we go to war. A sane person wouldn't trust this woman to keep the cat out of their macaroni while they took a shit. But religious people are okay with her writing their laws. Our laws. Look, I'm no more terrified by a country controlled by a crazy Ayatollah than I am by a country controlled by a crazy evangelical Christian. And there are plenty of crazy American evangelicals pushing for a theocracy. Many from inside the elected government. There is no greater threat to liberty, peace, and progress than theocracy. And right now, the Muslims just happen to be leading the race when it comes to dismantling rational governments and replacing them with genocidal scripture. And there is nothing at all irrational about fearing that.